Elon Musk, you know, like crazy work ethic, right? He sleep, sleeps on the production floor at Tesla. You know, I've done that back in 2009. Now, to the whole sleeping on the factory floor thing, I can't tell you how many hardware tech founders have had a conversation with. It seems like a badge of honor. They need to do it to get some kind of credibility. To be like, I, I, I slept on the factory floor, I tried to release this product. Over. Like, like it's, it's like a passion now, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, honestly, is it is it a good thing or is it a bad thing that you're, you know, you're participating at that level? I, I don't know. Yeah, but it, it, it just seems to be a part of almost every hardware tech founder like this. Like, man, I need to get to a point where trying to hit a deadline, I was sleeping in the back of the floor, I take pictures, post them online, I have a brand. It's a rite of passage, <laughs> right? Of passage, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. when we did aggregate watches, I flew to China, and, and I was there. I, I didn't sleep on the factory floor, <laughs> but you know, I spent yeah, a lot of time there, um, you know, yeah. working together with different levels of yeah. laborers and managers, and understanding the whole process. And everyone wants to sleep on the back of the floor. That's pretty cool. I, All right. Another fun fact: I, I spent about three months in Norway uh -huh. uh, with with their government. Uh, we were testing vehicles. We we're driving through different towns and cities. We had to put on three thousand kilometers on the test vehicle okay. to see if there's any failures and we had to drive it. And I, I camped with them. Like they had some, you know, pretty cool camp setups, tents, mm -hmm. heaters inside. Mm -hmm. It was a cold climate. Yeah. And so. You know, not only sleeping on the factory floor, but being able to participate in testing what, what I see alongside the customer was a pretty unique experience. We were manufacturing ground vehicle, wheel vehicles for the you Afghanistan know, And we were trying to push these vehicles out in a matter of six minutes from design to manufacturing. I slept, you know, it was hailing one night and, and in, we just climbed inside the vehicle and we just waited until the hailstorm passed. <laughs>